Okay, and last year I know Chris Conley told me that uh, he thought that you would probably watch more film than just about anybody on the team. Is that more true right now than ever in the middle of all this competition? Um, I do dedicate myself to anything that I have, you know, a passion for, and I will, you know, do anything possible to put myself in the best position to succeed for whatever I want to accomplish. Um, and am I the one that's in you the most watching film? I don't know. I'm personally, I don't care. But, you know, like, I do it because, you know, my job is to know what everybody's doing. And if I can do that to the best of my ability, you know, maybe rub off on some other guys and say, you know, hey, that guy's, you know, you watch a film, maybe I should get in here. It's like a butterfly effect. And um, I guess, you know, that's the motivation behind it, honestly. And just, you know, I see myself as a leader and I want to be a leader of this team. And I do it to rub off on guys. I do it to prepare myself so my team is prepared. And that's why I do it, because essentially we want, we want to win a national championship regardless. That's, that's the mindset, that's the motivation behind going in there. And regardless of me going in there, you know, being in there, watching film, trying to learn what to do, if I can't produce it on the field, then, you know, all watching film is good, but if you're not producing, then it doesn't really matter. So I guess the biggest thing is, learning how to take it from the film room to the field. And, you know, that's really, that's really it. That's the biggest thing. How do, how do you evaluate your performance so far this, this, uh, this spring? Um, personally, uh, you know, I go out there, I try and get my best. Uh, personally, I, you know, usually look at mistakes rather than the things that are good. Mm -hmm. um, my progress, you know, I, go, I went out there every day, try to have a great day. You know, maybe it, it didn't happen like that some days. But, you know, I know that I got better every day. I know that I try to work on one thing to get better on every day. Mm -hmm. So I think most definitely I've progressed, but how much and how well, I guess you got to ask Coach about that. But, you know, I was in there every day, watching film, you know, right. getting ready for practice, and, you know, ready to have a great day. Right. And if that didn't happen, then... You know. Are you satisfied with, like, your... Per your uh, completion percentage and um, did you have any picks this this spring? Oh yeah, of course. Throw, throw a few here and there, but uh, personally, um, I'm not satisfied at all with what I've done. Um, you know, I always want to do more in practice. As, uh, as as foolish as that may sound, sometimes you know, sometimes I do have good days, but still, you know, I do have that that want for more. Of, out of myself, you know, to do more in practice because mm -hmm. there's times where, you know, just the details that I missed that would frustrate me and maybe, you know, upset me a little bit. But, you know, I just try to learn from my mistakes every day, uh, try to improve every day and just go out there with, you know, the best attitude possible and mm -hmm. just keep progressing, however that may be. That may be an inch on the step here that's improved. So, mm -hmm. you know. Because of your, your physical stature, do you find that when you're in there, the, the coaches may want want you to run the ball a little bit more? Um, or? I have seen it a little bit, not much. Um, Coach Bobo has the offense that he wants to run, and he expects that offense to be run. So whatever he calls, I have to be ready to do, mm -hmm. um, and ready to do it at my best. So I guess, you know, saying that, you know, the coaches are putting in more running plays just for, you know, my physical ability, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say so. Right. I think it's more so, you know, what the situation is, what we got, mm -hmm. who we have in there, and then the coach call play. But regardless, I have to be ready for whatever Coach Bobo calls at any point in time.